Hi, welcome. Today I would like to discuss Android unit testing and uh, uh, hopefully you can uh, start using it uh, if uh, you find it very useful for unit testing. So if you create an actual Android uh, project in Android Studio, typically you would get two other uh, things under your Java which are called Android test and also called the test. The distinction here is that the one which is called the Android a unit test just the test it just runs on the development machine host and does not run on the device or the emulator and uh, you can annotate your methods by adding in <coughs> a test and you can uh, add various messages the cert equals the cert not equals for example this is what i have in this the instrumented test can be run on the device or in this case i'm going to run it on the emulator and the way to quickly run it is uh, you can essentially uh, take a look at this and right click it and say run example instrumented test and which is what I'm doing right now. <coughs> and if you run that you can see it's going to run through and says one test pass because I'm just checking to see the package name is exactly this. So it worked fine. If I want to run the unit test on the host I can do the same thing I can say run example unit test here and uh, it now start running in a second and you can see it ran through the two tests and it said it was pretty good so this is a, actually uh, can be quite useful uh, if you want to test uh, and exercise some of your code and uh, it gets automatically created for a new project so it's pretty easy if you want to learn more about this and other things you can go to my website gor associates and uh, gor associates and type in Android unit testing and you should be able to see uh, these and other videos. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.